Yeah. Right before walking, you can guys hear yeah. me okay. Uh, yeah. I hope you can understand me. I have an Irish accent from Dublin. Um, <laughs> if you don't, that's right. I'm going to say something like that. Uh, yeah, um, just slight correction. The, the band that I play with is the New York Metro play band. We're not quite affiliated with the police. But we're going to play um, a couple of tunes for you today. I, I brought down my, uh, my pipe major, Mike Mahoney. Come on over. And uh, John Quigg just kind of ran through some salute type stuff, fanfare drumming. So I'm not really going to go, go, go near that. There's no better man in pipe band drumming to, to uh, deal with the fanfare stuff. So um, what I'm going to do, I, I, I have music that I left on the tables. There's about three or four copies of, of music that I put on the tables. Uh, they have these little red kind of cards on, on the front. All of that music is, uh, is for my drum corps, um, and I, I write it by hand. And we're going to play a couple of selections of stuff. So you'll get an idea of where, you know, we're, we're, trying, to, we're trying to write to the melody a lot uh, for pipe band drummers. The guys who are, who are really kind of concentrating on the, the, the sound of the pipes and, and the, 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 the rudimental stuff that these guys use, the ones who are getting kind of closer to that sound, uh, and you'll hear it obviously in a minute, um, are, 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 the, are the drum corps that are kind of, we're really going for ensemble. The rudiments have sort of developed over the years uh, to suit a lot of the pipe band stuff, as well as we, we take a lot of influence from um, other styles of drumming, of course, many great styles here today, and I heard some fantastic performances, and, and by the way, it's great to be here, and, and it's a great honor to, uh, you know, to be invited. So we're, we're, going, we're going to play, um, the first sheet, uh, there's a tune called Voltron. Um, that's a 2-4 hornpipe. It's not quite a competition set. It's sort of uh, a concert uh, set, maybe March along the road type of thing that we were playing, uh, and followed by a 6-8 jig uh, on the next page. So it's a couple of minutes long. I'll play it for you right now. Choose some sticks here. One second. <coughs> Notation is 
we use a slightly different um, set, uh, set of rules for writing the music. We use one line, above the line is a right hand, below the line is a left hand. And that for us, uh, we can fit more notes on the page, we're not dealing with the five lines and four spaces, we're not using RL, RL, so it's a kind of a handy system that has developed over the years, kind of based, you know, came from Switzerland. Obviously, again, you know, like us, the pipe band guys, we're, we have uh, lots of admiration and influence from all the other styles of drummers out there, but this system kind of works for us. Um, okay, so uh, any questions so far? Please stop me if, if, if you need to know anything. Yeah? Yeah. All right, we'll keep going. I got a question. Yes, sir. Can you explain the roll technique? The rolls? How do you get those rolls? Okay, the rolls. Thanks, John. Um, well, we go for a, the closed roll sound, you know, that buzz. We're trying to get as much as we can out of the drum. Now, the drums that we play, as you probably notice, are quite high-pitched, um, and they're very, very unforgiving. We don't have any resonance uh, in, in the drum, so we're, we're trying to get these um, roll sounds that, you know, one, one note to the, to the next, and a completely, you know, completely sound, uh, closed sound. The very, very odd time might use an, an open roll kind of. You know. But it's not really in, you know, it's not what we do. We will, of course, learn that type of thing. Um, so you know, like all rudimental drummers, we use five stroke rolls. You know, the, you know, the main ones: fives, sevens, nines, thirteens, twenty um, fives, and you know, we're 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 going. We're always going for that sound. Rather than the or in between. Um, now, we, we also use triplet rolling. Uh, for the piece that I just played, I had two three pace rolls at the very start. That's pretty typical of almost every tune of pipe bands. You have two three pace rolls to, you know, the drum corn will play them to, to give the pipers a chance to kind of lead in and get up on the sound and, and away you go. So it used to be 70 stroke rolls where, you know, the quaver rolling or the eight note rolling where. drum you can hear that it's kind of a little bit empty there's not much going on there so we we use 25 stroke rolls instead and uh, um, so it, it becomes triplet rolling so it's a much more full sound so to break that down you, you, it, it, it's, it's kind of simple in, in, in a way you have, you have four triplets followed by a, an accent uh, and then double them up and and then put the, the buzzers in so you know to, to take it in three stages you'd have That'd be the sound Next, doubles. And then finally buzzes. And that's become pretty much standard, at last, I guess, in the, about the last 30 odd years. Uh, if, if you're a pipe band drum, drum corps and you're not playing those roles, you're, you're, you're kind of behind the game a little bit. And again, it's to facilitate the sound of the drum that we have. You know, 70 stroke rolls will sound absolutely great on the you know the, the big colonial drums like, like you, you heard earlier on they don't probably need to play that uh, that amount of strokes but for us it, it, it works in, in, in this case you know um okay uh, a bit about the drum core um i you know it's on the lead tip for new york metro um our guy over there mike mahoney he runs the pipe section we have about on paper, anyway, about 30 odd pipers. Um, you know, on the on the contest field, we'd have anything from 16 to 20 something on a day. In the drum core, uh, your minimum size of a drum core for a pipe band would be maybe three snares, a tenor drum, and a bass drummer. Uh, in our case, it's a fairly big drum core. We have, have uh, 12 snare drummers, um, five, maybe six, yeah, five tenor drummers, and you're only allowed one bass drummer, uh, typically. So. Uh, it's a it's a fairly big core. We're playing all these notes, you know, like any other drum core. I need to get my guys to learn off stuff like this off by heart, get the dynamics, and of course the goal is to be clean. The cleaner drum core will always, you know, come out on top. Um, so it takes a it takes a lot of work to get to, to get that going over the years. We're also in a, in, in pipe bands. It's it's for competition. We're, we're it's it's done in grades. Grade one being the top grade, and grade five being the the, the bottom grade. Um, New York Metro are right now in grade two. We just got upgraded uh, not so long ago. And, uh, you know, we will travel around this area. With America being so big, it's, it's very hard to, 
you know, hop in the car and go to a competition for 19 hours. But we try to do as many competitions as we can in the local area and also travel to Scotland to do the World Championships, which we're going back this year um, to, you know, to comp compete in grade two for the first time and uh, say our prayers while we're there. Uh, it's a tough, it's a very uh, tough grade to be in. Um, um, what else? I think I just lost my train of thought there. But if you tell you what, uh, Mike, if you'd like to come back up, we're going to play another piece. Um, the, the, yes? Why one bass? Why one bass? Uh, I guess it's just sort, sort of tradition. Uh, one bass drummer. Uh, if you have two bass drummers, the, the sound is getting kind of big and it might get a little, um, a bit too much. There is a, there is a band, uh, like a grade one band, uh, the Shots, they went out with two bass drums for um, like a competition a couple of years ago. And the traditional pipe band guys were like, yeah, it was, it was cool, but a little unnecessary. Um, and, you know, we're, we're also going for a very strong ensemble sound. Uh, we're not, you know, personally I might play quite loud, but we got to fit in with the pipes. And that's a whole balance issue with the kind of reads that they're playing and the, and the strength of sound and the numbers of what they have too. So if you come out with an army full of drummers and five, five bass drummers and you've got ten pipers, your, your ensemble is going to be all out of whack. So that's, that's kind of what we go for. We try to match each other and, you know, the drummers are not, you know, play too loud or, or, or vice versa, you know. Um, yes, sir? I was wondering why some pipe band sticks are taken. Tapered. Um, well, I, I use these grips on mine uh, just because, you know, uh, playing out in hot weather and stuff like that. Uh, and if you get a little bit nervous, your stick flies across. Of course, I always have backups and everything like that, but it's not in a, you know, some, some people do it, most of them kind of don't, you know? Tapered. Oh, tapered. I'm sorry. T t I said tape. Excuse me. Uh, I guess it's just a style of, 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 of stick. I mean, like, you know, they're not a, a million miles away from a lot of other type, types of sticks. Um, we have the big uh, tips on the big A chords to get to that, that sound out of it. And it's, it's just a balance thing. It's nicer to play that way, you know. Uh, a million different types of drum sticks out there, but not all of them will sound necessarily good on this drum. So they've developed over the years uh, through different manufacturers and various drum makers and uh, you're welcome to try and see what you think. They're actually quite light. They're not as heavy as some of the other marching band drum sticks that, that, that are out there, you know. Um, okay, Mike, Michael. So next piece we're going to do is, is called an MSR, as uh, short for March, Stress Bay and Real. Again, this is sort of a, uh, this will be a competition piece. In our, in our case, uh, for New York Metro, we have to have two sets of March, Stress Bay and Reels. Um, and, a, and a, an extra medley selection. We're not going to do that today, but uh, the, the Master has been real. It's, it's, it's a very traditional uh, setting for, for, for pipe bands. And as, and as far down as grade four, um, if you're running a grade four pipe band, you'll have to you know, try to get, get going on Master stress bands and reels. And it's, it's kind of the, the meat and potatoes of, of pipe band stuff. Um, we'll march up to the line of the day of a competition, and the guy will come up with a little bag, and you'll just pick one randomly. Uh, out of the back. So you've got to have two of these sets ready to go and everyone on, on, on the ball and obviously know all the stuff and, and be able to play it very clean. So um, the march will be in 2-4 time, uh, around you know 80 BPM. Strats Bay, uh, again this is a, a very traditional sort of a, a tempo and style of Scottish piping. Um, and that will be in 4-4. Four, four. Arguably, you could write it in 12-8 because it has a sort of a triplet feel in, in, in places. And then we go into a reel, a six-part reel at the end, um, and that's in 2-2, two, two, cut, cut, uh, cut time. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll try this piece. So although there's only two of us, imagine maybe, you know, well, 12, 12 side drummers in your whole midsection and God knows how many pipers on the day. We'll get too loud for here and I think people will be running off screaming. <laughs> but uh, you'll get the idea of what it is anyway, okay? So maybe one more minute long. I think. Want to turn the microphone on? Oh yeah. Let's try and sound out as if it's mine.
Okay, Mike, you're off the hook. Good job. Yeah, <laughs> you can go straight to the bar. Um, okay, so um, what we're trying to you know do that now we're kind of push for time here. So uh, you got six minutes. Oh, awesome. Okay, uh, we're going to get a couple of guys up. John was already playing just a minute ago. The uh, the main man here for a very very long time in terms of pipe band drumming on the East Coast. He has done an awful lot of great work for, for pipe band drummers uh, over the years. Uh, Matt Lewis here is uh, he's the lead tip of a, a local band out uh, of Lancaster, Kion I actually had the pleasure of playing um, in Matt's drum corps uh, three, four years ago in, in Scotland. We won the World Championships uh, under his leadership. I was just a guest player for the, for the week. And uh, Alex Cullo is um, a member of the old guard, but also City of Washington. Uh, he's also the, the lead tip. John was lead tip for a very long time. Now it's, it's, it's Alex's turn. And, uh, um, actually, City of Washington and New York Metro were, were kind of rivals on, on the day of a competition. But we're all drummers. We're all kind of, we're just, we, you know, we just want to play. And uh, an opportunity like this is awesome to get. Yes, Are both bands going to be at Fair Hill by any chance? Uh, our city of Washington going to Fair Hill? We are. Yes. Kill Neve? Yeah, we'll be there. Okay, unfortunately we are not going to uh, Fair Hill this year and I'm kind of, kind of bummed about it. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to hear some good pipe, uh, pipes and, and, and drawing, uh, go to this competition in Fair Hill. Um, it's the, the, the first main competition for, uh, for pipe bands. Third, third weekend in May. Third weekend in May. The 19th. The 19th, yeah. You'll, you'll, uh, you'll see some good stuff there. Are you going um, to Max though? I'm sorry? Are you going to Maxville? No. Uh, we went last year, uh, but we're not going this year. We're going to Glasgow instead. So, um, did you win Maxville? We did win Maxville, yes. <laughs> Where's the Fair Hill you talked about? Elton, Elton Maryland. Elton? Elton. 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 Up 95, just shy of Delaware. Okay. I have no idea where it is. <laughs> <laughs> I just sit in the car and arrive in the place. South of Dublin. <laughs> West of Dublin. Uh, so what, what we're going to do now is we have, we have a sort of fanfare thing. We, we kind of avoided purposely, well, more so of a request by me to avoid some of the stick tricks. I realized I was kind of walking into the lion's den for uh, all you guys that are great at doing all that stick trick stuff. So we've, we do use it from time to time, but today we're not going to do it because I don't think we'd be really impressing anyone. Um, certainly not with uh, you know, me dropping sticks all over the place. So we have, we have this salute that was actually written in 1957 by... Alec Dutter, sort of our, our version of Buddy Rich, our godfather of pipe band drumming. Uh, he did a lot for the game. He was just faster and cooler than everyone. And he just kind of changed all the rules. And the stuff to this day still stands up. Um, so we're going to have, have a shot of playing like, you know, this salute. Maybe you can count it in for us. One, two, three, four. Okay.
very quick, I, uh, I know we're coming to the end. I uh, just want to thank Bill, Steve, uh, and John for, for helping me come down here and set it all up. Uh, nice. Again, it was a great uh, pleasure to see some of the other styles, and uh, I'm looking forward to the concert later on as well. So um, I think that's about it. Uh, you're welcome to take the music with you. If, uh, hopefully you'll get some, some use out of it. I'll come check out the pipe band scene. Some good stuff going on. Thanks very much. <laughs>